Hello and welcome to the stream. How's everybody doing tonight? We're doing modded Minecraft once again. Having a grand adventure. Should be amazing. Uh, we are going to be doing. What aren't we? What aren't we going to be doing? Oh, what's going on here? Why is that like that? Let's try this again. Hold on. There it is. That's why it was weird. I don't know what's going on there. I have some problems with this one scene. I should just remove it. It's causing too many problems. Okay. Anyways, let's get into Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. Episode, I don't know, 90? How long have we played this thing? Too long. I honestly, I was keeping track at first of like what, what day we're on. And now I'm like, I can't even fathom it. We've been playing this for two months now, I think. Two months, three streams a week. That's eight weeks, three streams. Doesn't seem right. We must have played three months. We must have been playing this for three months. That's nuts. I don't think I've stuck with a mod pack this long in a long time. Which is saying something. It's a quality mod pack. It's just so damn demanding. It's so... I don't know what. I don't know what. It's so... Uh, I really sold this mod pack. That's good. That's good to hear. How you doing, Thorn? How you doing? Thanks for joining us once again. Uh, oh, first of all. Taking a little grand tour here. This uh, is different, right? I totally forgot about this. Like, I've been I've been living this, this all weekend like this. Um, it looks quite different. The shag carpeting is gone. This wall has been opened up. We're going more open, open concept here now. It's a much different vibe, isn't it? Much different vibe. I got all the things over here now. I think that's new. That alone is new. And I got my machines going on over here. I got my machines over in the middle here now. So I can get easier access to crafting and all my stuff's together for the most part. The only thing I'm really missing is like the blocks and stuff over there still. And that's really about it. The cooking, obviously, too. That's all I need to come back over here for. It's pretty great. Let's see what else I got going on here. Oh, I got this set up. We got our grid created. So I can access this. I just have a 1K storage block right now. So it's not a whole lot of storage. I think it's like half full right now. It's about half full. So I have that. I just, I just put all my bits and bobs into that because it's, it's the perfect kind of thing for this, honestly. Um, all these little things like that that don't really get any good home anywhere else. Um, so what else do I get? I got a bunch of stuff in my backpack right now because I made a mistake. So I usually, what I usually do and, you, and you're, you're familiar with this, is that I usually will keep all of the quests that I have done off camera open, and then I'll close them on camera, but I accidentally click this button right here, and apparently this button, I don't know what it does, but what it does is it accepts all rewards. So you can just click it, and it'll grab all the rewards it can. These ones I didn't grab because they're quest uh, choice rewards, and that's why I didn't grab those, but I got some cool things going on here. Um, first of all, we have this little operation going on here. I made this placer, and I can stick stuff into this, and it pulls out. So I put the hummus into this, and it pulls out the tree, fl tree fluid extraction, pulls out the uh, methane, and throws it right into here. So that's my methane extraction system here, and this just drops hummus down here as soon as I make it. I haven't needed to make it recently because I have a lot of methane sitting in there, but it's automated. It just keeps replacing blocks until they're all gone. And then I decided to do the exact same thing over here with trees, and so this pulls out latex automatically, pipes it out of there, pumps it into the latex processing unit, and it makes us some tiny dry rubber. And it also has a nice little pump from mechanism here, pulling the source block right there, putting it right into the machine here. So it's full of water constantly. It's making a plastic for me like nobody's business. And now I never need to worry about plastic ever again. I figure we'll let this run for a while. Eventually we need to take that pump and use it for crude oil. And we have found some of this around here. Oil from Galactic Craft and the small underground reservoirs, mostly low altitude, flat biomes, most common in the desert and ocean biomes. Fill up a tank with oil. One wooden tank full of oil. That doesn't need a pump, though. I could just grab that with barrels. So that's not the end of the world. I, could, I don't need a pump for that, then. And then we can make the Aqueous Accumulator. And I don't know what we use that for. Aqueous Accumulator sounds familiar. That's what we did to make... I think it was used to make water way back in the day. I think that's what it's doing. But anyways, uh, let's see. Anything else changed around here recently? 
think that's the main stuff. I got this system going up a little better. So now this automatically takes the oil and puts into here. This automatically pumps it over to here. This processes the oil, puts it into here, and then it processes here. Now we're out of power. That's actually a bit of a problem. You know why? I haven't been filling it up and this stuff takes a lot of power and this is using power constantly. It's not using a lot of power. 3 FE per tick, but it's enough. Uh, we marked oil on the map. You're right, we did mark oil on the map. It's not too far away, I think. Um, yeah, we should be able to find it pretty easily. Uh, let's sleep here quick. I'm gonna go grab some canola oil just to get that process for the for the power set back up again here. Um, can I find Carl or is he dead? Carl, I think Carl might be gone. He's on sabbatical, as we've said before. Oh, I have, I have uh, bags to open here. One sec. Let's pop these guys open. We've got a scroll of preservation. Not very useful at all. Um, let's see what this is in this guy. Some antimony. And cheeseburger and a pickaxe. So, um, yeah, I want to grab this canola. And while I'm here, I should probably just grab these things. Not this, I won't grab the other stuff. I'll just grab the, the, the more important ones here. Those guys. All right, I should grab this too. I think we got this quest might, maybe, might be done. Let's see. I have no idea where to even look for Carl. So I got the corn done. I got the peanuts done. We're on to turnips next. And um, we're on to vinegar also. We have the still now though, so we could do that now. The problem is I don't have a fluid transposer just yet. I got the bread, olive oil, baguette, and un baguette done. Next, we're on to all kinds of sandwiches, toast, hot dogs, uh, your first small pizza. And that looks like it's starting to round out over here. We're getting close to the end, I think, over here. Parsnips, not turnips. Is it parsnips? What did I say? Turnips or parsnips? Parsnips. Parsnips and collect 20 seeds yeah, yeah parsnips and i need the parsnip seed which can be made or found i haven't actually found any of that yet ever well then yeah i guess we did turnips already didn't we let's take a look and see if i have a, turn a parsnip seed let's see parsnip I do! Look at that. Nice. Uh, let's take the corn out then. Because I don't think I'll need corn anymore. For starters. Also, all of those things I just picked up went into the bag. So, we'll take care of that in a second here. We'll sort that out properly. Let's just knock these guys down. I don't think we're done with the zucchini yet. Let's take a look here and see if we are. Something tells me we're not. We're over here for zucchini and then celery is the next step there. And I don't know if I have any celery here yet. Oops, let's grab this guy too. They're not super useful. At some point I'll like need ender pearls legit. All right, let's drop some things off here. I don't know where to start here. We got this. We got this. This is all sorted out again. Into dusts and... Basically dusts and gems. So I have it sorted out. It makes sense to me. Uh, let's see. This is all messed up here too now. I'll just throw stuff in there. It doesn't really matter. Uh, throw these in here. Throw my plates into here. Let's go in there. This goes over to here. It's one thing after another. Those can go in there too. A battery. Throw it in there. I got my double battery already. And that should be good. That into there. We got some stuff for downstairs here. We'll get into this eventually. The downstairs has not been remodeled yet. That'll be my next project. Now that I'm actually remodeling the entire house pretty soon is probably gonna be my next big project. 
want to make it more something more modern, I think. Okay, so that's done-ish. Uh, let's turn in the rest of those quests. We got the parsnips planted. Let's turn in the rest of those quests. Oh, let's take a look and see if the zoo... Oh, first of all, this I forgot about this part. Yeah, let's throw those out. Throw things into here. Uh, zucchini. How are we doing in zucchini? 37. Not quite there yet. Uh, let's see. All kinds of a mess in here. I added more of these drawers on here to help with manage the storage better. Like the rest of this goes into the just over here. I love having a long distance uh, grappling hook. I can just jump around like that. It's kind of nice. All right, that takes care of that. Dust, gem, and we got a mushroom, which can go in here actually. All right, so I'm making man over here. Let's see how it's doing right now. Not a whole lot in there. I made a bigger backpack also off camera. So this is the top level. I'm pretty sure for the backpacks now. Lots of space. That's actually really good. Um, I think I'll leave it for now though. I was gonna steal it back so I can fix up some of my mana tools, but uh, we'll wait on that. It does need to happen soon, but that's okay. All right, I think we're pretty much good on everything there. So what do we want to take care of today? So I got, I'm got i getting close on the end of tier three here, pretty much. We just got some small tasks to do still. First of all, get this copper tank taken care of and get another copper tank there. Should the plat take the platinum or the copper tank? I think the platinum is more valuable. Copper tank's not that expensive. And the latex processing unit, I can get a coal and ferium or copper gears. I'll take the coal and ferium. And plastic sheets. Uh, liquid plastic cells. I don't have any of those yet. Do I still have my mana tablet? Yes, I do, but it's sitting. It's just sitting in the Botania um, chest over there. So crude oil is the next quest here. And I did have at one point Oil marked on here. Yes, there it is. It's 156 meters away. Okay, it's underground here someplace. We'll take a look at that. Um, then we also need to get the lava bricks taken care of. It's not expensive at all. Lava bucket plus some bricks makes four, and this is exactly what we need to make. I don't know if I have any bricks sitting around. Ooh, let's go take a look for that. Yeah, the, the mana tail is in that chest over there. Do I have bricks? You know, I don't. But let's take a look here quick. You know that one house back at the uh, village is made of bricks? I wonder if it would just be easier to mine those. I know they have a pretty high durability. So they're tough to mine, but it'd be a lot less work. Not that it's a ton of work to make these things, but still. 39. I need to make 8. So I need a few more. I guess I got I got stacks of clay for a reason, right? So let's let that cook. All right, let's let that cook. How many can we get off of this? Four. So we're almost on the way there. And we got a lava bucket right here. Let's go get some oil. Let's be oil barons. What is this? Make a lava block. Interesting. All right, let's go become oil barons. So it's down here someplace, probably. It's over that way. There might be stuff to mine here while I'm down here too. Probably just grab that while I'm down here. No sense in not. not far, but I may have gone the wrong way. Actually, no, we have to go over down and around. I, th I, remember, I remember how this worked. We came down through here. I think. Uh, tin, I'll... Ooh, hi there. You're fast. Wow. 
Oh, there's a lot of them. Wow. Okay. Why is there so many? There's another one over here someplace. There's so many more. Oh, yeah. Why is there so many guys? This is nuts. Let's light it up before this happens again. Why are there so many guys down here? It's like they knew. They're like, oh, he marked something on his map. That's where he's going. Get something, uh, with the auto pickup. Yeah, that was nice. Let's get some mining music going on here. Yeah, groovy. I think I'm at the point I can stop mining Ethereum. Oh, hi, guys. Um, drops emeralds. That's nice. Gotta get this ovium. I can pass that up. Too rare to pass up. Lead ore is probably not worth it right now. Okay. There's guys still spawning over there. Let's take these up before they become a problem. Wow, there's a lot going on around here. Those, those, uh, warp pedal things are not, like, useful for anything. They're just a pain in the butt. I've gone full circle here, I feel like. I've gone further away from it. Alright. We've been down this way before. Vandium is super useful. We're gonna do a lot of this pretty soon. shooting at me? Who's shooting at me? Ah, this is nuts down here today. What kind of slime is this? Regular? Or treasure slime? Looks like treasure. Redstone type. Nope, we're losing it. Okay, oil's this way. I need torch arrows the throwing ones. I mean, it's not a huge deal. I mean, for all the trouble these guys have been, it's not, uh... I don't think I've been hit once here. There's a lot of good ores in here. I remember this area being crazy too, though. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, hi. Um, no, I don't want any trouble. Thank you. Oh, well, don't fall to your death, please. Okay, so I have the reservoir. It's empty, so we'll use that quickly. We'll just grab a bunch of it and we'll use the rest of it. We'll store it someplace. Alright, that's all we can hold. That takes care of that. Who's shooting at me? Back over there? No. Hmm. Oh, this guy right here. Alright, we'll leave the oil here then. 
there anything else I want to get? There's Ovium down there. There's also these guys. Oh, this is not good. Huh. What's this got here? How's this slash home? I mean... Oh, hi there, bud. You're looking stylish. All right, so we need... Look at my hun look at my hunger. Something happened. I didn't feed. I didn't eat anything recently. I found there's there's some plant down there that I step on that I'm not even noticing that that heals my hunger. And I don't know what's causing it, but it's really cool if I can figure that out. It would be very very nice to know. Okay, so let's see. We have our bricks done, most likely. Nice. Uh, get rid of those. Throw these on here. What was that noise? So lava bricks is done. Uh, I'm not gonna claim all that just yet. Uh, then heating conductors is used in machines like resourceful furnace to prevent overheating. Okay. And then what is this used for? Thermionic fabricator, um, thermionic generator, resourceful furnace. Lead crafting can make an advanced smelting factory can be used to make what? Uh, well, like anything, I guess. It can be used to make anything. Anything you normally burn. Uh, let's take one more look here, see if there's anything else useful for this. Ultimate Craft, it can make a elite smelting factory. I'm guessing it's very fast, is the, the difference there. Make basic smelting factory, basic enriching factory, nuclear furnace, fission controller. This is getting to some high-tech stuff here. Alloy smelter. I don't need to worry about that, really. Diesel generator and industrial electrolyzer. Huh. And basic thermodynamic conductors. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we'll make it because we have to. Um, it just gave me some bars just now. Another bucket of lava. It's relatively cheap though. Those silicon plates I'm sure I have tons of. I thought I made a bunch. Um, hmm. Well, I have some. Let's take these guys. Four of those. Stamp them in there. I don't know. I thought I had some. Oh, there's four right here. That'll do it. So, making this, making this, uh, I need four more, which I'm making right now. Uh, we need those iron bars. If we do the quest a step ago here, we get some of those. No, we don't. We get them here. Four of them. I feel like we're getting close to the end of this, this tier. I mean, I feel like if we wrap these last few quests, we'll have it. This one I want to get done. The Resonator can do all kinds of stuff. So we got to hit the main quest here. This part up here, we haven't done it all yet. I don't know. This one keeps going, though. So it's hard to say if it's going to be done or not. It's a fairly long tier. All right. So I need two more silicone. Silicon. And oh, those gold conductors. I should move this closer. It was over here for convenience of, you know, being by the power. But now it's like I'm running back and forth constantly. Should be like right here. Alright. 
We got that. We got this. We need a bucket of lava still. Oh, we have a, we have a clay bucket. Will that work? I could just set it down and pick it back up again. Someplace safe. Alright, got that done. Another quest off the books. Retain the bucket. Very good. Alright. Heating conductor is done. We're on to claim that. We're on to card base, which is actually very cheap to make. We've made one of these before. It's one of those pain in the butt uh, components. Then we're on the CPU core B500. Let's get the crude oil sorted out here quick. Uh, we need a we need a, a wood a wooden tank. I thought I had some. They're extremely cheap to make. All right. If I have the glass, it's just any piece of wood surround glass surrounding any piece of wood. Okay, wooden tank. Aqueous accumulator collects water from adjacent water sources at 25 millibuckets per tick. With at least two adjacent sources and one millibucket for each for passive generation. Passive generation works any dimension, including the nether. Oh, that's fun. Wait. Okay. It's very cheap to make, actually. I wonder why they did that. Why? Why would we want water generation in the nether? Does that let us make, um, like an obsidian factory then? I don't know. What's the, uh, what's the resonator going to take, take for us? This is where we need that blessed vandium. And we can really just throw vandium into a thing this isn't this could this could be done right now so yeah I did I did make this thing off camera this is one of the quests I got done this will generate power if we click it and stare at it we will generate power from it so that's how we're gonna process this uh, resonator um, let's make those vanium plates how much vanium do I have I need eight plates we can throw plates right into the, uh, we can throw plates right into the man pool over there. Let's throw our, uh, oil into here for now. Throw our components into here. Where they go? constant battle of inventory until I get to the point where I can have just like a single inventory for everything get enough of these storage blocks but it's kind of a pain in the butt to make all right bandium's just about done then we need steel plates also I don't think I have a lot of those made up. Probably none. Compressed iron. Yeah. I mean, why would I? Our steel's holding out okay. We have another three blocks of it right there. Compressed 
press those. Let's go bless these. Hopefully I have enough to bless it. Nice. All right, resonator. We need a couple of alloy. We need the energy laser relay. Where did I put that? That's a blast from the past. Oh, here's one. Need the up storage upgrade 16 gig upgrade 16 gigs. I think though, so here's the ways I can do this. I can go with So the storage block 1k the 16 storage block this one. So it's not it's that special infused iron, this machine casing which isn't that bad. We've made that before. Then it needs a storage part here. So for that I need a lot of resources. I need to get these improved processors, these 4K storage parts, and need three of them. I guess I once I have the 16K though, that'll get me pretty close to uh, enough storage. Yeah, maybe it's something I can work on. It's just a lot of, it's just a lot of fiddly stuff. The logic processors, the disc, not the blocks. But if I do make the disc, then I need to get the disc drive. And that's a whole other thing. I get the drive. And then the ME drive, not the ME drive. I need the disc drive from refined storage. And the disc drive is its own fiddly bits. It's got the advanced processors. This empowered Bristonia. I can't make that yet. Until I can make the empowerer. And I can make the empowerer. Until I can make the... What was it? We're waiting, we're waiting on something here. I can't make the empowerer until I can make... I guess we can. Oh yeah, the empower takes a lot of energy though too. Takes my double battery. A couple of these are not th that tough. This, look at lunar reactive dust. That's the thing holding us back right now. That lunar reactive dust is, it's like, it's like a 16 steps here. And po the power is gonna be a huge step forward. We need the advanced item relay. I mean, that's where this is all leading actually. Now that I look at, back at this though, if you look, Right down here. Advanced item relay. These two things are going to come together and we're going to make the empower over here someplace. So it's on the quest to do list. It's going to be pretty close to this. It's going to go here and then here and then probably further on. Is it in the shop? Ooh, that's a good point. Shop rewards. Circuits for one platinum. Only two control circuits. That's not good. Um, let's see. CPU Core S100. Not what I need. Well, the basic processor are in here, though. I got two for that price. Because microchips tier one are in there. That's not that, that's not that valuable. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much useful stuff in here. I would say not. I would say there's not much that's useful in here. But yeah, this is where it's leading. And if we take this advanced item relay and we just actually make an item, we can actually make this one. That one's, that one's not too bad to knock out either. We could take this item relay and turn it into an, uh, take the energy relay, turn it into an item relay. All right, then we get the item relay. And we need to get a gold thing out of here, right? And, oh, it's an advanced coil, not a gold one. Uh, I don't think I have an advanced coil. Advanced coil's not expensive though. Um, advanced coil, redstonia crystal, and black quartz. That's not that bad, we can make this right now. 
Uh, we need this, we need this, we need this. And then we can make it all. So we go update there, go like this, go like this, go like this, make two of those. And then do it again. A gold. Advanced coil, upgrade, yep, got it. Advanced item relay, done. Okay, and we get the second advanced item relay, probably a good choice right there. Got everything there. Uh, oh, that's it for that one, interesting. Well, this is on the to-do list also. This, this alone will take us where we need to get. So let's throw these back in here for now. The advanced item relay, I'm not actually using those at all. I don't know if I should. It seemed like a hassle. So that's one more thing done. We'll work on that next. Now I've lost my train of thought of what I was working on just now. What was I working on just now? Totally lost my train of thought. We were looking at... Oh, we we're looking at the storage block. That's right. Yeah, the disk drive is... Uh, is I think given that the power seems like the, the natural end result of this path here... I think we're gonna stick down this path. We're working on this one actually, so that's what we're working on. Uh, we need those gold coils, which I just threw back into here. And then we need the steel plates are done. This is compressed iron. I always mix those up here. It's steel good. Okay. We need some of those silicon plates. Never enough. Here's what I should do. I should take, I have like 20 of these. Oh wait, hold on a second. No, oh, I thought I made a bunch of them. Um, let's do that though. Let's take 10 of those. Throw into the sawmill. Pick up more silicon. Cause I'm starting to run out. I have 14, I guess. It's not terrible. And once we get this resonator built, then we can resonate all kinds of stuff. It kind of works the same way as this does, right? Except it's for um, extra utilities too, right? And we're missing the IC blueprint, which is not tough. And one other thing. Oh, that red dot thing here. That's where the IC blueprint is. We need blue dye. It's actually light blue dye, I think. Oh, it's just blue pigment. Okay, so we could use it. We could use lapis, right? Yeah, we'll use lapis. And one of those and some paper. This thing looks high tech, but it's not. That's good, I like that. Okay, and I think we have it. Resonator, and then we throw this resonator over here, and that runs off of, I actually don't know if it needs anything else, um, but we can take, we'll claim that, I guess. We can take this lunar reactive dust and made with, usually made with magenta dye. Take 16 GP to take lapis into that. So we take lapis. We need like four of them, right? And now we can get 16. We go like this. I need 16 power. We go like this. We sit here until this gets up to 15. Oh, actually, we need 16. Oh, because it's nighttime. That's why. We can, we can get we can get 17 at, in during the day, but only. Uh, During the night, we can only get a certain amount here. Only 15. Because it uses the solar panels that's on the, on the roof. All right. So now we should be like up to 17 here. Let's keep generating it. 
And then as soon as it fires, it'll take that 16 away. We just gotta sit here for a couple minutes and, you know, chill out. There it goes. And should have made one now. Yep. So just gotta keep doing that. Now I may have grabbed some already. I don't know where I would have put it, though. I feel like we got some for a quest reward at some point. Who knows? All right, let's chill out and grab this. There's no way to automate this, but 16, 16 GP is pretty great. Is there an Enderman in my house? Seriously? Let's keep turning the wheel. We'll know it's done when it stops resetting when it's to 17. That should be enough. Nope, not enough. No more. I hear him. Oh, we have enough. Wait a second. There's only three? The nice thing is we can do this with this guy. Oh, he doesn't like that though. I thought we could get that guy like that. How are we not seeing him? Oh, he's, he's, he, I thought we could get him with this. Oh, we gotta give him the old fashioned way. These guys are a little scary. Except they die immediately, which is great. Ender tier. What is it used for? Ooh, one makes 200, two buckets worth of molten ender. Same here, wow, that's really cool. I can make a gas tier out of it. Why would I do that? That's great. It's evil crafts. So we'll throw in there. I don't know where I threw this stuff. I had one at some point. Okay, in any event, we got that done. We get some prudentium. Throw it in there. Get the loot bag. Activate that. A water bucket. Wow. Gas tiers need for something. And there it is. Very next quest. Very next quest is make the empower and look at that. Make the disc drive. So it's all part of the master plan here. It's all part of the master plan. It's like I planned that. I didn't. I didn't plan that at all. But we can do this now. It is a lot of fiddly bits here, but lunar panels, counterpoint to solar panels, do one GP during the night. Yeah. I don't see any reason to make reason to make those. I don't need that much GP right now, anyways. Uh, but it is part of the quest, so I will do it at some point in the future. It is part of the main quest here, but this is part of the main quest too. So we go empower first, mid tier block. Then we use to empower crystals and other items. This actually opens up all kinds of doorways for us. So it'd probably be a good idea to do this to activate the process. Every displacement needs to be empowered, allow a lot of energy, and is then drained to empower the item on the empower. Oh, did I throw all that? I grabbed canola. What did I do with it? The front door is open. I don't... I don't think he used the door. I had canola. Oh, it's probably inside of here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. Forgot about this. Well, that explains that, at least. This thing's a mess. Drop these off. Hey, devices, how you doing? All right. Drop these guys all off in here. This thing's a mess. Let's turn this off so I stop getting stuff in there. It's, it's useful, right? But it's not always necessary. I 
It's a long time to sort these things back out. I guess I went mining. I should have brought one of those things with me. Actually, I should just do that. Let's just do that instead. Let's go set up my trademark uh, storage containers in the middle of the room. Sort this stuff out later. So late for you, huh? All right, so yeah, I know it's it's a late for a lot of people, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so um, we're looking at the empowerer. And that's gonna take a bit of work. We can probably get there now. Tough alloy we don't have. Block, block black quartz we can get. These dilithium ingots don't have that yet. We have some of these, not those made up. Needs my double battery, unfortunately. Um, advanced item relay, we just made that. Tribarium block. Tribarium is an interesting one. It's by salt or dilithium. Probably use with salt because I have a little bit of that. We can go get more. Okay. So it's a project. I bet I think this is it's, it's a good enough project to do. And then after we make that one, though, after we make that, we also need the splay stands. Oh, that's a bit better at least. The aesthetic green block. What is that? Oh, okay, good. Oof, I was hoping it was I, was, I was like, oh my god, but no, it's fine. It's not that bad. Okay, we need to make four of those. Alright, that part's the easy one. We'll worry about that later. Such a nice playthrough. It's worth staying up for. Oh, that's nice of you to say. Well, I appreciate you sticking with it. Tough alloy. Let's make that. Ferroboron, lithium combined together. We can do that. We can do that. We have the alloy kiln. We can totally do that. Um. So let's take a look here quick. I do need to make some of that for this. Ferroboron, 32. I am working on that. Let's see where we're at with that. Ferroboron alloy is steel plus boron. I need 10 more. So I gotta take 10 steel for this project, but it'll be worth it. And then we gotta get like a stack of coal out. Oh, and boom, I love that. How about that? Don't have to do anything. I'm not gonna waste any more steel on it than I have to, okay. So the pharaoh is good. The lithium is the next step. Lithium ore I've been making up a little bit of. Lithium's done. Claim that guy. Lithium's done. Solar panel mark two. Advanced gas tank or delighted meal. Uh, mark mark three. Ooh, that might be worth it. Take that. Advanced, advanced gas tank is fun, but nah. And then tough alloy. 16 of that. Okay. So we take our lithium, we take our ferro boron, we can figure out how much we need. We need to make eight of it if we need 16. So eight of that. Eight of this. Fill the stack. It takes a long ass time to make. All right, well, let's let that go. Check on it later. Uh, how is my iron and steel? It's it's about the same as it was. I haven't made up any any up. I did I did go mining for some iron though, off camera at least, because we are running low on that. But I got uh, let's see, got eighteen more. I just threw a couple stacks into here, so at least I have more uh, more iron to make. I have enough steel for now though. But, yeah, I got three blocks there. That's the best we can do for now. We haven't been going through it that fast. I made up a lot of it, and that should be good for a while. 
Uh, let's get this to the roof here quickly. Oops. Get this, this into effect. Let's see. Where do I put these? About towards the middle. Looks good. All right. We'll let that be. Loot bag. More garbage. Loot bag. More garbage. All right. Bloodthirst has been cast on me. What does Bloodthirst do? Ooh, reincarnating for the next nine and a half. That's fun. All right, Tough Alley 16 is on the way. Let's clean these up too. Basalt. Basalt I need five of. Ugh. What did I eat? I ate some of those more of these uh, Halloween lollipops. How are we doing on basalt? I have four. I need to find some more. Okay. That means a trip down to the bottom again. Well, I was gonna throw this uh, rabbit in there, but I'll hold on to it here for now. What do we got? Some of that, some of this, some of that. Those lollipops are not very nutritious anyways. Let's charge this guy up. I never found that canola's oil. That can it did grab it out, right? All right, now I'm still at a loss where it, where it went. It's not there either. I grabbed canola at some point. I have no idea what to do with it. There it is. We're running low on power here pretty soon. Oh, it hasn't even tapped into it yet. So that's filling up, going through here. This is dropping off, going through here. It's perfect. This goes through here, pumps out of there. It can all overstock now, and it's beautiful. The other thing I was looking at making, though, is a semi-fluid generator. It has a max energy of 440,000 uh, FE. Output rates is 120 FE per tick, probably. Oh no! It's it's not per tick. It's it's how much. That's the upper the maximum output rate is 128. However, um, it can use lots of different things. First of all, oil, for instance, 64 Fe off of a single barrel of oil. But mostly, I want to use this for creosote. The creosote can do. 160,000 FE off a single barrel, and I have like 10 barrels in the basement, at least. That's even better than oil. And I get that for free, basically, by throwing coal into the, the thing. And it makes coal coke, and it makes that creosote as a biopot product. So that's why I thought this would be a good thing to do. I actually have everything made for that, except for I need this reinforced glass. Um, It's not impossible, and it's compressed obsidian is the big problem. So it needs eight obsidian blocks and also needs this advanced alloy. Advanced alloy is mixed in metals. This is not that bad. I could probably make this and that's going to provide a lot of power for our, we'll wait on that to make it, but um, yeah, I will do that at some point here soon. And then I might need to move my creosote 
fuel into here then so I can produce it in here. Brought, bring power right over to the main power thing here. I have to get a better battery pretty soon here. This is a thousand, this is a thousand. What is going on here? Guys. Who invited you in? I can't even hit these guys. Can I leave the back door open? No? It's not a blood moon, is it? No? Is this door open? No? Seriously? I'm gonna go to sleep. This is nuts. Never have a neighborhood problem around here. Almost never. Okay. So yeah, we'll make that at some point here. Let's go look for the basalt now. And I need five for this quest line. Oop, we need this um repaired up too. Night metal's running a little low. I think we're gonna have to head over to the uh probably forest sometime today. Gather more of that. I'm gonna end up my last three. Uh, I should bring a bucket of water. It's always at level like 12 or whatever. It's always in the uh, lava. gotta find a big pool of it. And this is not where to look, but somewhere nearby. There's some right there. So there's two of them here. Let's do this though. Let's mine that out. Or we'll, might lose it there. And we'll mine that out again. And that should make the below them lava. Actually, it might be beneficial to do this. I don't know how much I'm going to lose here. That gets us closer to all of the lava we're going to need for the, uh, or the, all the obsidian we'll need for that one machine, right? again. Eight. That's one compressed. Ooh, vanium. Oh, vanium. valuable these days redstone's less so I'm not gonna worry about it right now it's more to carry so we'll do the same thing we just did I mine here look at some of these blocks
And then if I go this way, should we look at that? If I go here, I don't want to stand there though. Don't mind the block you're standing on. So I need four compressed obsidian. Do this straight down. It should be better. At 24 now. So four would be... 36. We might have enough back at home. Let's just do it. Let's just keep going. There's some. Nice. Burn to death, probably. Ooh. Well, there's my there goes my water. So I didn't burn to death. Got 31. I have enough. I have enough. It's a little silly. Uh, we have enough basalt now too to go back home. sitting in here to get those last three or last uh, six or do I I don't oh so close all right we'll leave that here for now uh what happened to the basalt I had Not 36? What am I thinking of? No, it's 30. It's 30. It's 36. I have 9 to make the compressed. So I need one more. But where is... There it is. Okay, got that. And we can get a few more off that. Okay, and then we're on to that lithium, lithium ingots. That one we could never do. We actually have to go mining in a desert, I think, for that. I have one. We need more dilithium crystals. It takes two and electrotine to make two. And an alloy smelter, it's two and one. Yep, yeah, so we can make we can make enough off of that. So it's well, let's see. That makes four. And I got one here, okay. Let's go see how this is doing. Takes forever. All right, let's go grab the other obsidian here quick then. I'm 
sure there's an obsidian exposed I can grab safely without melting myself hopefully maybe Did that go okay we got that done so the um the dilithium only spawns in deserts that's why we haven't found any of it here I'm still miffed we haven't found any like true ice true like snow biomes to true tundra or something like that where we could go looking for an ice dragon because we should find in that pack in inside not the pack in that mod there is uh snowy villagers we haven't seen any of those yet and that'll be our giveaway that we're in a cold enough region to see ice dragons and the fact that we haven't run into any makes we think that we're not in a proper we're in a modded snowy biome but not a proper biome that can spawn ice dragons tundra or something like that i just don't know why it's so strange let's see if this can be used in here yeah that's even faster cool It's so much faster. Can I do alloys in here? Could I have put the, uh... Is it doing... Oh, it did. It did it right. Okay. F4. Got that done. We get more dilithium off of this. Let's take it. We also get molten lumium. Nice. We also need more obsidian for the glass of this thing, though. So now working on Tribarium. This is one of three alloys needed for crafting Dianite. Used to reach the mining level Durante. Dur Durant Duranite? You've got a long, quite a long way to go. Ten Tribarium ingots. Easiest way? Probably to do the Tribarium fluid. Basalt and Tribarium into the smeltery. Is there a set size of the world? No, there's no set size to the world. It would just, it's just, you know, infinite. So it'll be as big as it wants to be. Which is odd. Because you think like, I mean, I just don't understand why we haven't seen any yet. We've been a lot of places. We've covered a lot of the world here. We've covered so much of the world, and we haven't found any snow. There's a snow right here. That's mountainous, though, so it's probably not going to have anything. This might be tundra here. Nope, it's extreme hills. There's some snow over here, which is southern Alps. This over here is southern Alps, which isn't spawning things, as far as I can tell. There's no villages there, and it's not big enough for villages anyways. Um, down here, I might be able to take another look around here. I mean, it looks like there's some area I haven't explored here yet. I don't know if it stops there or not. We probably could keep going down here and see if it, uh, continues on. It's probably my best bet. It'd be cool if we could find a dragon, like a mountain like this, like a mountain island. That'd be so cool. Anyways. Uh, let's see. We're doing this, right? Just to get more of that. We need 10 Tribarium. Which we decided is a ratio of... 2 to 5 makes 1. 2 to 5 makes 1?! That's so much. That's so much. Okay, hold on. Basalt. Five tribarium. 
to four basalt. That's a little bit more manageable. Basalt ingots. So if I have liquid basalt, I have 10. If I see uses on this, it's four to five, right? Makes one. I'm gonna need so much. 10 makes one. So I need, if I need to make, so I need 10, I need 50 then, right? No. That's if I use dilithium. Hold up. One of these makes a half of a four and a half nugget. So one of these, two of these makes one ingot, right? So I need, I'm just gonna start throwing stuff in there, I think, is what I'm gonna have to end up doing here. Let's just start throwing stuff in there. I'm not using the smeltery for anything else. Might as well just try it and see what happens. Just melt that up. Doesn't take long at all. We'll melt up all that. We'll melt up all this, see what we get. We got one block from that. Nine ingots. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13 ingots. All right, we got nine blocks of basalt fluid in there now. I think let's do this. Let's throw all that in there. Make as much as we can. We got two ingots so far. It's working its way up there. Up to four ingots. Grab another stack. We might have to go back to the nether here, too. This stuff's everywhere, so it's not like it's rare. It's just a pain in the butt to get, because it might explode. We're up to seven. Eight. One more run round of this should be enough for ten. One block. One block, one ingot. I like that. I like that. Um so let's take this back out then. Um we have basalt fluid. I don't if we recast it, does it make the salt blocks again? It's not going to melt with anything. They're not going to merge with anything in there. It's not a huge deal. Okay, so it just makes basalt blocks again. That's kind of fun. These are pretty valuable then. Okay, so let's take our tribarium. Let's get it out. And we have one ingot in there too. I should really just make another faucet. Still keep moving it back and forth. It's thorium. Well, if I don't have any bricks, it's gonna be tough. Hey, we got a Tribarian block. And then one more. I should satisfy that. We just gotta get the three blocks back out of there. Not a huge rush though. Um, Tribarium. We got that done. We get a couple more. Molten glowstone cell and all that. Cool. Well, that's done. 
for this quest line, we needed one block of it though, right? So we can do it and get four more on that. Okay, so Empowerer needs the Advanced. We need Lumium and Lumium and, and Nori. I guess let's get start working through this. We need to do one more of these. Halfway there already. We got that. We need intermediate gears. Oof. Um, might be a little tough. Because I don't have any intermediate ingots. Let's see. Can I craft this downwards? No. I made all that supremium. Uh, let's see what we can make here. That's two. All right, let's work one of these guys up. have left 56 let's make another one of those oh man uh we got 24 uses left on it 20 more six Uh, it's not that bad. It's his little base ingots. So take these. Do that. We end up with... Four of those. I need a mana diamond. If I retained any, I hope I did. Let's go make a mana diamond quick. Let's throw it in here. Nope. Let's throw it in here. Negative. All right. And let's go make a, uh, a new crystal here. actually is what's oh, blocks the top and bottom all right that one is there other crystals maybe I'm wasting my time making these small ones here Master Infusion Crystal. Oh, no, it's a little tough. Never mind.
there's only two kinds master or regular master seems like it might be it's infinite so that's why it's so expensive but it takes a heck of a lot holy cow okay let's make this up then So we have eight. That makes two more. That'll be enough, right? That'll be the very end of it, though. Oh, that's okay. We take iron. We would start the same way. Take these. Those like that. That. Like that. All right. We got the makings of two gears. I think, I think we put an iron in the middle. I forget what happens here. Uh, any kind of ingot in the middle. Okay, we got the two gears. Okay, one step down. We need two of these advanced circuits. Ugh. Uh, microchips, tier two. Ugh. Um, the dilithium is done. It's in there. Got that done. We need these in there. We got that in there. What else? Uh, advanced item relay. That's another thing done. Okay, where are we at? We need block of black quartz. Black quartz is here. I think I guess craft this like so. No. Oh, it's even cheaper. That's nice. What's the point? That's so cheap. Okay. Two of those. We need those advanced control circuits. Do I have any? No. Um, advanced control circuits take these. Oh my god. Where's Modi? Who's this new young guy? And he's still here. Um, I think it'd be better to do this at this point. Make these advanced alloy ingots. Make three of them at once. We're at the point we can actually do this. Bronze, tin, bronze, tin, titan, steel, bronze, and tin make three. Steel, bronze, and tin. Let's make up six of them. That way we got some extras. How did you and the kiddos Halloween go? It was all right. It was all right. Uh, the kids had a lot of fun. My kids were like, like, <laughs> it was so funny. They both didn't uh, understand that trick or treating is not like on Hallow on Halloween. We always do my neighborhood. We always do trick or treating like the Sunday before, and so we went trick or treating. And then on Thursday last week, they're like, "Oh, let's, I can't wait for trick or treating tonight." I'm like, "No, you guys already did that. That was your chance, and you blew it." They went to like, they went to like, I don't know. We went to like. We walked maybe like a mile. We went. We visited like I don't know a dozen houses or so, which is fine. They got they got their fun. Um, then they went back. Like it was fine. You don't do I mean they got like a couple weeks worth of candy. That should last them a while. 
They were satisfied, I think. Ooh, advanced alloy uh, quest is done. That's cool. The costumes turned out okay. My mom went as a Jedi. My dad was a Chewbacca. A Chewbacca. <laughs> um, the, uh, it was really cold here this year. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It was actually a pretty decent day out for us. Which was nice. Uh, we just need the... Gold. We need some of those plates. Then we won't just about have everything we need. So then we just need super glue. And I can actually do this right away here too. Let's let's as long, long as we're doing this, let's do it for real, these. Pick up six of these advanced things here. Aid my aid my uh efforts later. Um that puts us at needing uh, more super glue then. I don't know if I have what I have for that. Oh, I got super glue like crazy. Super glue for days. I got crazy amounts of crazy glue. Sweet. Six of those now. That's awesome. knocks out a good deal of crafting later. Yeah, but the kids, uh, they had a good time. I think it was, it turned out okay. It's gonna get, it's gonna get better even next year, I think. Now the, the, ne the littlest one will be four next year, so it'll be even better. He's like, starting to get it, which is cool. Now he's just like at the age where he's like, um, he'll like ask me for something like that. Can I have some yogurt? And I'll be like, no, no, you can't. It's pretty close to dinner. You can't have any yogurt. And he's like, no, but I want some yogurt. And I'd be like, no, you can't, you can't have any. No, but I want some yogurt. N no, no, but I want some yogurt. N Eventually I give in. Cause I just like, I don't know how to argue with that. <laughs> it's like, I guess, I guess maybe you're right. Maybe you do want some yogurt. I don't, I don't, you're not hearing anything I'm saying. I can't, I can't have this argument with a three-year-old. It's just, it's just, it's just the best, best negotiating tactic I've ever heard. Just take whatever answer you want to hear and just keep repeating it back that you think they're wrong if they told you the wrong information. No, you don't understand. I want some yogurt. Maybe it's my mistake. I, I, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Just keep doing that for like half an hour till you question your reality and you get some yogurt out of it. Perfect, perfect system. That's kind of the level we're at right now. Next year for Halloween, it'll be easier. We can say no and you can understand what no means. Right now, he's not quite getting that yet. All right, so we got next run of Nori Plates, I think. And I have six Nori Crystals. We need three, six, nine, twelve. So let's make up, I don't know. Pick up 30. And we'll take 12 of those. Kids are fun. He's too cute to disagree with. He's got that going for him. He knows it. He knows it. He works it. You can't argue with him. This should be done. Tough alloy. Yes. Done and done. Uh, and that is underneath here. So this one is done. Claim that. This one is done. Claim that. 
Then we're on to Energetic Blend. And that can be used for all kinds of stuff. We got Ancient Dust. That's very, very useful stuff. Um, where do I throw that? Thermal Foundation. It goes in here. Advanced Alloy. Block Bronze. Alright, let's grab this guy out. Hopefully something good. Another Quartz Plate is not, not bad. Not, not great. Tough Alloy. We need three of those. Four of those. For this project. Four of those. Let's see. Um, Electrotene Silicon. That's easy. I just made a bunch of that. Yes, I did. Awesome. So we surround this like that. We get two of those. We cook it up. And then I think, let's see, it's 11.09. Let's see. Got about two hours left of the stream. No, one hour left of the stream? One hour left of the stream. Not that much time. Let's get this in power done and then we'll go on adventures. Okay. Microchips. Crystalletine we can't make, so we got to go with these nether quartz, slapis, and lumium. Um, and lumium is what I needed for this tier too, so we got to make a bunch of lumium. I have eight in here. Let's compact those. Uh, and then lumium is made in a smeltery or so. Magma crucible, lumium blend. We can take pulverized tin and pulverized silver with some molten glowstone. So we take glowstone, throw it into here is what we do then. And how am I doing a glowstone? I got 64. And I need a bunch of this, so I'm just going to make up a bunch. And I know it goes in tens. No, it goes in fours, right? So let's make up 40. And there'll be 10 buckets of this then. Is it working? There it goes. This is taking a long time. Why is it not working? Our usage. Silicon Nord. Um, oh, it has silicon in there. That's why it's full. Uh, that would do it. So we have to get that silicon out now. I've made that so that I can do, um, coated wires. That's why I put, that's why I made it. So let's do this. Let's just go like this. And let's grab out those wires I wanted to coat these guys. And we gotta get the super glue back out of there. All right, and we wanted to coat these guys. And put the pliers in there. There's a thousand left. Well, let's last, destroy the last thousand. Okay, we got 30 coated wires then. So 32, that's good. These are very, very useful. They're high, high energy, high power. That's excellent. Um, then I want to go like, uh, let's see. Okay, now we can make this up. Get those 10 bucks of that in there. It still takes a long time, though. Let's see how our... We're not smelting anything anymore, right? We're not alloying anything. We're just waiting around on that now. Uh, energetic blend should be easy to come by. We need 18 of that. Let's just get this quest done. For the sake of questing.
Empty into that. Glowstone ingots. So we make refined glowstone gears like that. What is this used for? Oh, it says glowstone melted now becomes refined glowstone. I see. I was wondering how we make refined glowstone. We just we just melt we just melt it. That's how we do it. Enriched ingot. Enchanted ingot rather. Um we need a rolling machine or something like that to make this though. Rolling machine in Man of Steel or Osmium, either way. Rolling machine is the next step there. Or compressor. Electric compressor or induction smelter. Oh, induction smelter can't do it though. All right, well, we'll worry about that later. Throw it back in here. All right. Bam, bam. All right. How are we doing here? We've got a whole thousand. It's not going to be enough. Each operation of this. Uh, Lumium, right? That's what we're trying to make. Makes, uh, let's see. I need the aluminum dust. Let's see, aluminum. Aluminum, each operation of aluminum is that, so each one of these makes four. That's not that bad. One bucket makes four. I need a total of, uh, seems the other one, 12, right? Eight, eight, four, okay. Or eight and four, it's 12. So I just need three operations of it. So I just need three buckets of this then. That's not that bad. Um, I need my pulverized tin. I need pulverized silver next too. Let's take a look at, see what we have in here. Silver, I have silver. Pulverize it. Each one of these will get two. We have 26, which is enough. Thirteen is plenty already. The one. Two. More seconds on that. Should probably get an upgrade on this guy so we can use more power a little faster. Upgrades are getting cheaper, I think, now. Upgrades. Invar, copper, red alloy, liquid crystalline. Not too bad now. Not too bad at all. Basic control circuits. Or we can use Man of Steel instead of Invar. About the same. All right, one more operation there. We can start this process going here. Get those started cooking. Once this last one goes, I might stop it. I don't end up with a bunch of glowstone I don't need right now. We got a thousand. So process those, throw them in here, make plates. And then 12 of these plates. 
We need something for this too, don't we? Lumium for that too. We need a couple more. Then 12. Oh, I have a couple more in here though, don't I? Thought I did. Was it already put them in here? Ah, I did. That's the problem. Okay, so we're making the... These guys. Microchips mark two. One operation of this makes four. Tier two microchip and super glue. Lumium, lapis, circuit plates, there's microchips. I think I have microchips already. I have two. Oh, I have more than that. Oh, I already have tier two. Oh my God, I already have tier two made up because I did four last time. Well, that saves us a little bit of, a little bit of time then. The microchips are for making us an empowerer. And I think we are close to being done here. So we need those advanced control circuits. Okay. Nice. We have an empowerer. It wastes my double battery though. I need to get that before we go adventuring. What's the recipe on that? Why can't I see the recipe on a double battery? There it is. Double battery takes a battery. We can make that again. That's pretty cheap. Okay, so microchips make this empowerer. And then we take the empowerer. We find a nice home for it here. We throw it like, I don't know, right here. It needs power now. Uh, let's bring it over here just a little bit. Oh, it's perfect, actually. We put one here, one there, one here, one here. Okay. So we just have a couple more projects to work on here. We have this solar display. We need this block, crystallized blocks. We need blocks of uh, quartz here for this. And I need four of these display stands, so I need... Quartz, one, two, three, any quartz times, tw I need 12 quartz blocks then. What's the other one? So it's quartz in the thing makes athletic green. Quartz makes athletic quartz. Why is, what's the difference here? Why is it the exact same recipe for both? Oh, because one's chilled. I see. So we need 12 of these also though. All right, so that's that. And we need 12 more. It's all of my quartz. Seven. I'm gonna have to go looking for quartz now. Chiseled quartz. Lock of quartz. There we go. Chiseled quartz is made with what? Two slabs on top of each other. Can just make slabs? I think we got to take these over here. I think the sawmill chops these in half. I believe. It does. It makes a lot, actually. Oh, stop right there. No, I can't. I need 24 of that. Never mind. 
All right, and then we need a bunch of these advanced coils. So that again is just uh, black quartz, redstoneian, and deck of gold. And what else? Nori. So I need four of these. So I need four of those, right? That means I need eight of those. Chiseled. Make those into that. Fetic green. We go like that. We go like this. We go like this. It's display stands. Okay. So then we take our display stands. And we go bam, 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 and bam. And then we can close to power. Let's use our new cables here. They take a lot of power. Let's see right there, right? One, two, three. Four. Not a lot of work down here, but we're making it work. I'm trying to get myself zapped by these things. We're not powered right now, so it'll be fine. Connect this to power over here. Okay, this this is not a lot. This is not enough room to work. Okay, there we go. And we can tap these into this one. And just to connect, connect, connect the uh, power more substantially here. This is a big crawl space, yeah. And I should get zapped by this now? Nice. It is working. And these are getting power. Alright. Let's get back up. Alright, so now we can... Oh. Now we can power things. So we want to use the empowerer. Did it, did it actually uh, trigger the quest? Got the display stands. We can make our drill now. Oh, that's good stuff. What do we need for this? We need the um, empowered Redstonia, right? So we take Redstonia, put a mana steel, inert blood ingot. Oh my god. I'm going to do all kinds of stuff here. Oh my god. I didn't realize they make inert blood ingots now. So that's going to be a whole other project here now, too. It's a whole other mod I haven't done anything with yet. <sighs> okay. Well, uh, we're not going to do that because we can't. This, this will get used quite frequently, but it's not going to get used yet because we need to make we need to do blood magic, not blood magic, but uh, evil craft. 
We'll put disk drive on my to-do list now. It's right there. Um, this drives on my to-do list now, but making the empowered redstonia. This inert blood ingot. We need to make this blood infuser, which isn't expensive per se. It's just we haven't done it as blood shard stuff yet. We make a dark power gem. Take blood and a fluid transposer. So we don't have a fluid transposer yet either. So that's another step we have to get in the middle. So like this step here, then this step here actually depends on these two steps over here now. Thanks. Okay. Yikes. Drill is this next step here though. That's kind of nice. Um, that's like an optional task. A drill would cost us these empowered diamantine. Diamantine takes us inert blood ingots. We can't get away from it. And this infused blood glowstone dust. We need blood. And Terra Steel? Oh my god. So guys, I was like, oh yeah, we're flying through this mod pack. We're gonna get done. We're done with tier 2. So close to done with tier 2, except not quite. Because we need to get through to get Terra Steel. We need to go into Botania. No. No, 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 no. I don't even know where we start here. It's like a chicken egg situation. Actually, this one is the answer, I think. No. It's in the God, it's in the it's in it's in our uh, our book here. So we need to go. Complex magical alloy infused with a great amount of mana. Conjure it proves it was a small stack task. For starters to create it, one creates a terrestrial al al agglomeration of plate. A, a set on top of a checkboard pattern of lapis and living rock. Mana needs to be provided this block with sparks being the most effective method. You can't even craft it though. How do we get the tear steel? Oh, there it is. This. We make a plate like this. And then we after the place set up mana's under set up to receive mana single mana steel ingot, diamond pearl, and mana pearl. Yeah, then on top of it, picking up any of the items will halt the infusion. The infusion uses mana equivalent to about half of a mana pool. Half of a mana pool for a single piece of terra steel. Sparks will accelerate the process as well. So we need this, this, and this combined together to make this. Needs a lot of mana to make that. Oh, a lot of mana to make that. We can't generate. We've never we haven't generated a half of a pool ever. So that means we need to look at better ways of generating mana. Generating flora. Gor Gormarlis is probably the next best step. It takes these runes of fire runes of summer, which take their own things here. We need Mana Steel, Gloomy Nether Rack. That's not that's not a problem. Runes of Fire is not a problem. Um, Runes of Summer is Slime, Melon, Rune of Earth, Rune of Air. Rune of Earth is Chert, Coal, any any stone. That's not that bad. It's not un it's not impossible. Rune of Air needs feathers, powder, Mana Steel. It's not that bad.
And then we can make Gormalis. This guy can use food to make, to make, to make mana. Being the Gormalis, the same type of food multiple times will result in each subsequent one producing less mana. So we can't use one meal, but we can make lots of different meals. And steak will produce more mana than two apples, both absolutely and per second. So like more complex things we can make. Take, steak will take four seconds to digest, apple will take two, a loaf of bread will take two, and so on. So, the amount of digestion in a delicacy is nutrition terms, limits the amount of food points it restores. So, that's the amount of time to digest, the amount of food that it restores. Um, I think I think the best thing to do is make something that's high saturation, low food, but I don't think there's anything that's quite like that. Cake might be an option. But then we can make there's a cake run, right? Munchju might be the way to go too. I don't have a way of automating this. It eats all the leaves and it'll take a break from doing so. We'll be able to eat after a minute again. Um, our Slimus generates power from slimes. Rose Arcana uses experience points. They do have a lot of experience points. Thermal uses lava. We'll have to look into this. I'm going to need a lot more. I'm going to need a lot more. It's clear I'm going to need a lot more. Okay. Well, that's going to be another time. Instead, right now, we're going to put this back. We need to go on adventures today. So let's drop some stuff off in here that I don't need to carry with me. That I definitely do need. We'll just throw stuff in here for now. Sort it out later. We need to make quickly before we go, though. We need to make a new battery. Because that battery is what charges this illuminator. We need that. We can't live without it. So we need a double battery. And that was the big question there. Double battery. Double battery is... Needs 300 silicone. I have that. I already have that made. I think. The plastic. Where would I have put it? If I did have it. I guess I don't. So we need to make, let's see what else we need to make here. Inori plates, got it. Tin, fused, advanced coils, gold plates, not a problem. All right, all that's not a problem. Is there any better batteries? Maybe even a better battery. Maybe that's the way the answer is too. Don't do a double battery, do like a triple battery. Triple battery. Let's take a look. Redstone. Advanced coil needs double battery to make it. So, never mind. Quadruple battery. Needs triple battery to make it. So, we're just, we're, we're waking way up here. We gotta, we gotta use this double battery here then. Uh, so, we advanced coils and ore plates. I need five, five, 14. Tin plates, gold plates. Alright, tin plates, gold plates are done. And nori plates. I have two. I need 14, I said. Which means I need more nori. It means I have eight there. Plus two is ten. I need two more. Let's make a four. It doesn't really matter. Get that done. Throw them in here. Let that work. Okay, next. Uh, coils. I need more nori. Never mind. All right. So I need gold. 
I need those and this. How many do I need? I need two. Which means I need four of these. Um, let's take a stack of this. Okay. And then this guy. And then this guy. We need the single battery also still too. I need more Inori. Oh my god. Okay. This is how you burn through all your iron. Actually, I have a battery made already, I bet. There's a single battery. Okay, we'll use that then. in there heating up and we need one of those silicon things here I'm just gonna make up I have like what 55 of these things let's do 12 of those I don't have to make so many of them later on. Just do one for right now, though. Okay, have we, have we got it? Hammer. Okay, now we're just waiting on the silicon. here double battery sweet okay got that back then we'll charge this up actually the power is out at the moment I think yep shoot okay yeah, this is a big the problem right now with the power situation is that it takes a long time to make more power if my do run out like this we are in trouble for a little while. Oh, it recharges. Because, I mean, I can make more power, but I have to rely on, like, three different steps here, right? I gotta melt down the canola. Throw power into here, throw power into here, throw power into here, throw power into here. And then finally it's making power here again. That's why we need another power situation, another power solution. And this is going to charge up now. It's ready to go. I mean, it's not done, but I mean, it's not like bad. We just go shift right click with that. Now it's charging everything. All right. Let's, uh, let's leave this bucket or this, this, um, this behind. Leave this behind. Let's leave that behind. Leave all this behind. All right, so where are we headed? We have to head to the Twilight Forest here first. Because I wanted to take a look and see if we can do a lot of damage in the... Uh, inside that one 
Do I have my thing with me? Let's make sure. This, the last time we tried to go in here, we didn't have our key to get inside. Now we do. Um, I was going to take a bed with me. So I can get back easily. But I don't have a bed. Is there one down here? There's one nearby someplace. I don't know if it took one in my pack now or not. I didn't, I didn't take one. Okay. Make one. I might be able to. in case we run into problems here. I want to be able to respawn. Okay, we're good. Bring that with us as well. Okay. So let's head over to the other new fortress. Over that way. jump at the right time, we get a nice little boost here. This is the Spider-Man equivalent here, I think. We're web-slinging everywhere. If I get bouncing to it, it's easier. very easy to do so. We take this Lich Helmet, we put it around here, and it's open. Let's get inside. Actually, being up, up top here is probably better. Last time we were a little exposed, but... Um, this will be fine. I mean, it'll be fine. All right, take this. I don't know why I have this with me. Well, it's able to do goofy things sometimes. Uh, let's get down in there. Chests to open, enemies to kill, all of the above. That's certainly not an enemy. I don't know if this is anything. Oh, look at this. Oh. 
These ghosts are dead. Taught them a lesson. That was easy. A lot easier than last time we faced them. There was a lot of ducking and moving before. Now it's like, oh, new plates. Cool. God, that, that was so easy. <laughs> Incredibly easy. Um, yeah, that was, that was exceptionally easy. And I have a ch replacement uh, for my chest plate if I ever need it. It's very cool. know what to do now. Well, mission accomplished. We're just in the middle of a cave now. I haven't actually uh, found what I'm looking for here, which is shards for my tools to be repaired. I feel like this place is going to be very, very easy now. We've got our little upgraded weapons. found a single chest yet either though I mean, we're making progress here there we go that's what we need armor shards we need enemies to kill those the thing a lot of the a lot of the best shards come off of enemies we kill There's a spawner at least. Oh, hi guys. If you kill the right ones, they die very easily. Did it drop anything cool? I mean, I guess we get free stuff out of this, but still. That's the replacement for my helmet. Anything better? Last stand, I'm breaking, I'm breaking. Protection 3, I guess Protection 3 is a little better. Respiration and last stand is pretty nice, though. Okay. So far, this has been not a great trip. I don't know. Don't know what to make of that. There's a cave over here someplace. I'm just going to go this way quickly. Just to see. I think not. Okay. So. Alright, let's go. Let's look for a dragon then the big thing was repairing this tool I don't think I got enough shards in order to do that there's just no th nothing spawning down here anymore I don't know why that is we've been this way already yep we were this way before Let's keep following this around. Maybe I didn't find my exit. We've come, we've come that way.
That was my win. Take a quick perusal down this pathway. It's a long hallway. There we go. There's some guys. Or they are. There we go. I don't want to lose one of these spawners then. I need to use that. Let them spawn all they want in there. Because these guys drop what I need. There's another guy in there. Cool. Steel lace, still have plates. Iron wood, milk, maze wafers, map maze focus. Uh, let's leave this behind. Fireflies don't need. Um, let's see if we can take out the lights in here. So they keep spawning. This is actually pretty good. We can use this. All right, I'm satisfied with that because I got 23 now. That's better. Let's just take a quick run through here. Negative, but got the good stuff at least. Mark this on my map. So I can come back here and farm these whenever I need to. A uh, new shrimp farm. There we go. Shrimp farm is on the, on the map. That way I can come back in here whenever I need to. Farm this for whatever I need to. What's what is this over here on the map? Weird, isn't it? Let's leave those behind. Perfect for farming. All right, cool. Uh, let's slash home. Set our spawn back at our real house. Drop off some more goodies we just got. And then we'll go take Griffin out for a spin to that icy area nearby. Another, I need another one still. That's not nearby, I guess. The icy biome, uh, the nearest icy biome I have, which is somewhat nearby. I 
I mean, it's 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 a it's a walk no matter what, but it's a it's a short short little jump for uh for Griffin at least. All right, but where we're headed? Let's see. So there was, so there was the one biome here. I mean, it's not super close, but it's not too far. We can get there in less than a day. So I'm gonna do it, and I don't think I need anything else. This is charge. This is food in it. That's got plenty. Uh, our backpack is good. We have our sleep mats. We're we're good to go there. I'm gonna take it out because we're gonna need that pretty soon here. Leave this in here. Leave this in here. Actually, leave this out because I'll need that. This can go in here. And I think we're good. Let's keep that there. There we go. Got a couple of those. Okay, we're good to go. All right, let's get Griffin and head out. Here we're going on a mining adventure. Actually, before I leave, I am going on a mining adventure. This should be charged up. It is. Uh, I should get this guy charged up first. Let's go with uh, bronze. I think charges this. Bronze. Let's get it fully charged so that we can do some real mining. We need to get down into the depths. Oh, let's go up top here. Okay, let's go south. I got four crates on me, so I should be all good there. Um, that should be plenty, I think. We'll set this guy to pick up automatically. Yep. Yep. Should be good. All right, and I'm make sure I'm going to go the right way here. Uh, we're headed this way. That would be just about perfect. Yep. So keep on this tack right here. Got everything we need. We won't really see anything new. That's okay. So I've heard some different theories on how to find dragons. Apparently they can spawn in any biome. So it doesn't help us at all. Um, I would think that maybe mountains be, would be good because there's more like room for caves, but you never know. It doesn't seem to matter. Some people have said you can hear the dragons from the surface. So we're just running around on the surface. We might be able to hear one. It's not been our experience though yet so far. There's a dome there. That's interesting, right? What do you think the dome's about? made out of stained glass what are we looking at here it is got tons of spiders inside of it whatever it is I don't know what to make of that one do I bust in there it's not lit is the problem That could be pretty cool to make something there. So we can find dragons in, we can find level four dragons in caves. Level three, two, three, one, two, and three are on the surface. Level four can be found in caves. And level four and five are the most terrifying ones, but they also will have eggs. If we find a level four or five female. And if we get an egg, then we can hatch it and have our very own which I don't need to tell you will be absolutely amazing. 
Have we been here before? It doesn't look like we have. This is new. Let's just grab the good stuff out. That's actually very, very good. This is huge. Majestic ingots are very rare. And then we got a couple more uh, buckets here. Let's grab the stuff out of those. And we'll throw it back in. And there's generally nothing more of value here. Oof, wait, that, never mind. Take that back. You have bees? And more bees. Interesting redwood, too. I think I sleep here for the night. It's sunset right now. Come on, sunset. There we go. I want to put these guys in danger. All right, let's go. This house here is a dangerous house? No, it's not. Bounty offered for zombies and giant spiders. Hello? An innkeeper, huh? Oak trapped chests. Why, innkeeper, would you have trapped chests in your basement? I ask. Somewhat knowingly. Sir, innkeeper, what is going on here? Who do you think you are? One of these is going to be rigged. Not that way, at least. Let's see. What's this? What's this shop you were trying to pull? This is a little cautious about this. You gotta you can't blame me. Grass blocks. You don't have anything good here. Is the is the, is the trick? Sir, you have garbage in your basement. And you have a tree growing in the middle of your place here, too, which is odd. Look, I'm taking those pistons, though. Those are pretty cool. I mean, grass block's cool, I guess, but. Oh, what do you have upstairs? You're holding on to me. Just a bed. Rooms for rent, huh? Alright, sir. This is certainly a bust. All right, Griffin, here we go. Uh, still going south. This is a new area, though, I think. Nope, we're, we're, right, we're, not, we're right near it. Perfect. Now, this is Southern Alps. Which is not quite what we want, but... Might be better than nothing. Oh, wait a second, what's this? Oh. 
Well, this is a garbage place, too. Oh, hello. Marble. What do they have down here? What are they hiding? The answer is nothing. I don't know. I don't know what they're hiding down here. Seems like nothing. What do you make of that, Griffin? I don't know. I don't trust it. Polar bear! Hello there! Alright, so we've hit the edge of the snowy biome then. The roguelike dungeon there. I mean, this is promising. We're on Glacier, actually, is the name of this biome, which is cool. Now we're in Southern Alps. I feel like heading underground here might be an idea, though. There's a dragon there. Oh, it's not an ice dragon, though. It's another fire dragon, a black fire dragon. Well, let's let him be. I'm gonna get down over here. I saw a gap in the side. I'm gonna take a look. Let's see what I can see. mark our entrance way. Alright, let's see what's let's see what we can see in here. If we could, if they are that loud, we couldn't possibly hear one from far away. This at least gets us underneath the Southern Alps area at the ground level. Let's gonna make sure I keep an eye on the biome. I'm not so interested in the loot at the moment. You can of course come through later and grab the stuff, but for now I just want to explore a bit. See, this is interesting. Just try to take one of these guys out. wake up during the daytime? Yeah, I'd buy that. He only wakes up at night. Maybe. Crystal. I imagine something like this except a gigantic area. That's what I imagine for a dragon cave. I think it's gonna be large enough that we would notice it. We're in Taiga now. Taiga might not be impossible either. We're 
finding uh, one of these guys. Oops. This is interesting. Bigger cave still. Excuse me. What is this guy? Ooh. Well, he died very easily. Ooh. One of those trolls again. Oh my god. Do you feel a lot of friends with him? Oh, he's dead now, though. Oh my god, there's so many guys. This is more what I was expecting for a cave, for a right for a dragon cave. Out of range. Oof, there's a lot of them. Hi there. Excuse me. Many. Can't see if they're dropping anything. They're tr dropping like troll husks or troll tusks or whatever. Yeah. So I'm gonna swing around here a little bit. So I can light this place up a little bit. I'm getting lit up. Let's go elsewhere. Come back there later. We're at Y34 right now. Not super deep. I think we're in the kind of the sweet spot actually. From my way back to the entrance, though. Because we are about halfway down on our... On our, uh, laser. I don't want that to happen. Or run out of it. When I need it. I don't even know where to look for a cave. A, a troll cave. I mean, a dragon cave, rather. I mean, again, my, my doubts are that this this modded biome is in registering the ice and fire biomes as far as cold goes. And so who knows if we're going to actually even be able to find one. The fact that we keep seeing fire dragons inside of these icy biomes makes me wonder. He's 
Dead end. And cut off. Let's do this. Back to where we've been before then. I don't think we're finding any. This is not it. I don't know. Woo, look at this ravine. Oh my. All right, well, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave our, our boy up there, so I'm going to head back up towards him. We can't just slash home out of here. So we have to make sure we can find a way back. Which we did. Not a big deal. There he is. Diligent. Diligent Stallion. He's a loyal steed. Come over here and try it on this side too. I don't know. I just love to find like a, a at least I would know for sure if we just find a standard vanilla snowy biome instead of all this like Southern Alps stuff modded glacier biome. If I could find just a standard one. And find some of those snowy uh, villagers nearby. That would certainly give us a good clue that we're in the right track. Until we find that, though, I don't know. I'm gonna kind of head north from here. And then start thinking about wrapping up the stream, I think. I don't know. I just haven't found any. I just can't believe that. Look at this thing. What is this about? It's got blazes inside of it. Well, that's worth checking out later. It's got a bunch of chests on the top of it, too. I'll have to take a look at that on the map later. There's a great big pirate ship next to that. And a like a spire full of blazes. Found that again. Okay, so now that we're back with him though, we could slash home. We find a landing spot. Let's go land over here on top of this house. they don't die to the zombies trying to break their houses down. Oh, they're dead. Sorry, folks. Alright. Well, we made it back. And we got a decent amount of loot. That majestic ingot is huge. So that's good. And uh, got a couple things in here, right? Cool. All right. Very good. All right, well, I'll wrap the stream here. We'll sort through that stuff later um, next time. 
Wednesday night will be the next stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Diesel devises the means. Thorns probably fell asleep. Um, I'll be back on Wednesday for the next stream. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to be posting the, the VODs of this onto YouTube now. We'll try that for a little while, see how it goes. People will seem to have responded to it the first time, so keep going with it. See how it goes. Anyways, guys, I'll be back on Wednesday night for the next stream, 9.30 p.m. Central Time. See you then.